Hey guys, hey, Alex Heath here for another video. I'm going to be reviewing my white Valentine 1981 for my first review. I, I'll try to do this in one take, so excuse my mistakes if I make any, but it's a really well done video from the 1980s or movie from the 1980s. And it's about this miner that gets trapped in the mine on Valentine's Day and nobody comes to help him and most of the miners except for this guy die in the mine and then everybody just goes on with Valentine's Day party and he seeks revenge or goes for revenge a year later and pretty much tries to kill everybody in the thing and then he disappears for a few years I guess and then there's a replica killer that comes out and tries to avenge his father's death because the original Harry Warden they call the killer died and killed his father and he saw this, and he was trying to seek revenge for Harry Ward and his father, and he pretty much just kills everybody at the Valentine's Day dance and her Valentine's Day party in weird ways. And of course, he's in minor uniform, so his main weapon is a pickaxe. And of course, there's so many things you can do with that, and he kills people in the mine and throughout the party and. Really gruesome, unique ways, and for the 1980s, the graphics and gore and all that, the factor is way good, and I would recommend it for any horror film buff or a horror movie fan. And it doesn't really star many big stars, but for a Canadian horror film, it's really, really well done. And I know this review probably doesn't help many people, but what are you gonna do? If it helps you, it helps you. If it doesn't, I did some. For the gore in the movie, I'd probably give it about eh, 5 or 6 out of 10 compared to these days movies or movies these days. And probably for 1980s, probably give it about 7 or 8 out of 10. It, it depends on the quality of the movie and whatever. But from the 1980s, it was really good. And acting, yeah, some of the scenes were a little bit bad acting or whatever, had a bit of bad acting, but for the 1980s, pretty good, and for the storyline, pretty good as well, and can't really complain about it, and if I had to compare it to the new My Bly Valentine from, I think, I believe 2006 came out, correct me if I'm wrong there, but My Bly Valentine 3D, I think the original one blows the new one out of the water, and it it's way better, and I'd recommend watching the original one before you watch the 3D version. And I guarantee you the 3D version will disappoint compared to the new one. Or old one, I mean. The original. And, of course, doing a one-shot video, it's really... Yeah, you screw up a lot, but... I apologize again. But <laughs> Anyways, for overall, I'd probably get the movie about... 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10, it could have been a little bit better acted and had a little bit more death scenes or been a little bit longer, but for the time and for the movie, it was pretty good, especially considering it's a Canadian horror film. Yeah, but that's my review for my Valentine 1981. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst, and, but I'll have like a video down in the description with like a scene of the movie and the official theme for it that actually came at the end of the movie but if for movie excuse my little speech impediment it was a really good movie and I would recommend for anybody that would enjoys horror movies and has good appreciation for older horror movies so my Boy Valentine, 1981, I approve it. Thank you, and please subscribe if you haven't already, and spread word on my channel. I'll probably be doing some wrestling videos and ideas of what I'd change in this era and that, but that's going to be on the side. 
and I'll probably be doing Scream 4, amongst other movie reviews and a few music reviews, and so please keep an eye out on that, and that's about it. Thanks, guys. Peace.